Hey, so for this Synth Squad Pro Tip, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and talk about envelope efficiency and uh, envelope borrowing. So by envelope efficiency, what I mean is using one envelope across multiple synths to control certain things. And uh, the, the advantage of that is that when you're programming your macros or when you're automating things, uh, you then only need to control various aspects of that one envelope to have multiple synths and multiple uh, effect parameters um, affected by it. So in, in, this, uh, in this patch, I've got two synths, two ins instances of strobe open. I'll let you hear it. It's a, a kind of a moogie uh, bass patch, lots of, lots of nice harmonic content and um, a, little bit of, a little bit of noise. I've got a fair amount going on in the transmod slots across uh, both synths. Um, there's uh, a lot of different macro action and a lot of different, um, this age knob is controlling a ton of different things um, from everything from from tuning through to um, oscillator detuning, stacking, um, the actual tuning of the synthesizer, um, everything. Um, just to give it a little bit of fatness, I'll let you hear that. So it's uh, it's controlling kind of like a, an overall kind of stability feel almost. Um, but uh, basically, the the issue that I'm I'm having here is that I want to add a little bit more of a a distorted front end to both of these synths and uh, what I want to do is I want to drive the amp section on each synth with an envelope but I already have a fair amount going on with the envelopes the envelopes are already doing um, the envelopes on these two synths are already doing what they can so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna dial up a third instance of strobe and I'm gonna just drop its output so um, this gives me a couple advantages. I can now, uh, under a transmod slot, let's, um, yeah, macro one is what I was going to use. I guess I was going to call it chomp. Um, I'm going to go to synth three here and select the mod envelope and via macro one. So now macro one is going to control the amount that chomp is going to distort the amp section. Let me just drop the output a little bit there. And I'll do the same here. So macro, or sorry, synth, synth three, envelope plus, via macro one. And again, it's going to control the amp section. And then as I bring macro one up, you can hear that, that extra bit of buzziness kind of coming through on, uh, on the front end there. So uh, something that I, I am then able to do, because I have these many, like I have all of these transmod slots taken up on synth one and two with various different parameters that I'm automating, uh, I can now control uh, the envelope in synth three via synth three's transmod slots, which is just a, a really good way of kind of offloading a lot of the modulation duty to another synthesizer. Um, and in this case, uh, strobe isn't actually making any noise. It's not really, it's not part of the overall sound. It's just serving as a kind of intermediary interface between my macro knobs up here and all of the different things that I want to control over here. So um, I'm going to have uh, macro one control the mod envelope decay. And I'm going to have macro three control the mod envelope attack. And Let's say release and sustain. Nah, we'll leave sustain off for now. Anyway, um, so now when I turn the macro one knob, not only is it affecting the amount of amp envelope that's going, or um, amount of distortion that's going into the amp section of each of these synths, it's also affecting the decay time of the envelope controlling that amount of distortion. And of course, uh, you can you can then turn around and, and start utilizing it in, in the effect section too, which is pretty good. So um, yeah, anyway, that's, uh, that's a, a quick way to effectively use envelopes. Um, it's a, uh, using, using a third extra synth or a second extra synth that doesn't actually have an audible output is a really good way of getting some extra control factors into the mix. And it gives you eight more transmod slots to work with if you're trying to do int intricate control over something like an envelope or an LFO. 
So thanks for watching, and uh, check out more of the, the pro tips on my channel, and subscribe if you dig them, and happy music making.